Welcome back to this series of conversations with leaders in cloud. Terry Sweeney here with Light Reading. Joining me now is Andres Vasquez, Global Telco Segment Director with Schneider Electric. Andres, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for, for having me here, Terry. Thanks uh, so much for this invitation. Uh, telco cloud platforms have emerged as an essential element for both carriers and service providers. Let's start by talking about the features that are critical to differentiate among the telco cloud options that are already available. Sure, Terry, that's a great question. First, I'd like to highlight that the telco industry was evolving for the past few years from hardware dependency to software with NFB or network for sure virtualization, and now the cloud network function that was recently announced. So this evolution is not only about the traditional telcos only anymore. Today, we're living a convergence and a market evolution to support these cloudifications and edge computing needs. And all this at the end runs in a data center. So edge data center needs to be deployed to enable this evolution. And that's why it's so important. It is critical to understand that this convergence between the cloud, the traditional IT, the OT worlds will require ultra reliable lower latency communications with networks that will enable machine to machine interactions running in these edge data centers at the network edge. So we highlight that this type of cloud will be running in network edge spaces or locations that will be for sure supported by edge data center that need to be scalable, sustainable, and resilient. So we consider this as part of the functions that will be running at the network edge. Implicit in all that is, is the idea of, of virtualization, which, which figures really highly here. Uh, there's obviously more to the equation than just container hosting and the like. Talk a bit about why carriers and service providers have to be able to offer virtualized apps and services to customers. You're right. In a simple way, I can sell like uh, just to monetize their investment. And this is part of this evolution that we were talking about. Uh, we noticed that uh, for the carriers, for the last couple of years, they were not able to monetize all the investments that they do in networks, what they evolved from different networks. Let's talk about the mobile network operators. They do big investments for 2G, 3G, 4G, and now they need to have something mm -hmm. in order to monetize all that investment. Just talking about that type of carriers, and uh, the same happened in every single level. So the market demands now uh, this uh, evolution to process the data close where it is generated to enable industry for the world, real IoT and the autonomous world. So and virtualization is one of the key parts of the equation for this um, evolution. Part is that uh, for the last couple of years you know, at the telco world, you have central office for engineering designs to enable NFV. Now this, now this new uh, architecture of cloud network functions and open RAN, and all of them becoming to support cloud service application. This new era of networks is not only that networks, is where the service providers, where the communication service providers already notice how they can monetize this with the distributed cloud computing and the open standards topologies they will help basically to cover two things. First, upgrade their current networks in a more sustainable way, enable future updates for 6G. Everybody's also now starting talking about 6G. We don't have even starting with 5G and, and we are already talking about it or, or hearing people very focused on that. And supporting new business model for them with partnerships and alliances like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, working with the communication service provider to enable uh, these services and enable also services like um, infrastructure as a service, edge as a service mm -hmm. in a virtual and containerized environment that will run at the network edge on those edge data centers that we were talking about. Management is always a challenge. Uh, getting these these systems and processes to to line up uh, in a way that that, that that's functional. How easy is it for the new cloud management tools and systems to map to carriers and service providers existing management systems? What's what? How heavy a lift is that, really? That's a very 
very good for very good points. So high availability to support this ultra reliable communication is a very important topic uh, for for all of these players because we're not talking about the traditional infrastructure as we say we're talking about this new topology that is mostly supported by edge data centers that are not in a central space or centralized space with people that is going around them so monitoring is mandatory doing um doing and enabling a, a best the best of the physical infrastructure to support that is a, is another key aspect of this we really do not want to have a self-driving machine having a traffic accident right so this is something that we need to cover a critical power and resilience must be monitored and our eco structure data center architecture is where we integrate connected products from building it and power domains and connect them to our software solutions the solutions can be monitored locally at the data center and in a centralized environment, so the NOC that the telcos already have. And the data can be sent to our cloud platform, Schneider Electric Cloud Platform, where we can run all the analytics to support these environments. These analytics are used to increase availability by providing alerts as well as useful recommendations for maintenance, preventive maintenance, for example. And Schneider is unique in, in that because we provide application analytics and services uh, with this eco structure uh, platform. Our data center uh, software helps to monitor multiple locations and it is already deployed in different customers and environments. Andres, let's close with you just telling us a bit more about Schneider Electric's network edge and telco value proposition. What are some of the benefits that are possible there? Oh, yeah, well, uh, the data centers are the head of this digital world because all the data flows and, and uh, goes in and out from data centers. So Schneider is the number one on physical infrastructure in the data center space. We are um, reaching in the top because we are at value in three specific areas. One, we provide the large portfolio of connected offer for the data center space. And the second, we design and package integrated systems and solutions in an innovative and very sustainable ways. And the last area is to increase the availability and the efficiency of data centers by attaching these software and services that I was referring to with monitoring and metering. The scalability, standardization with sustainable, efficient, and adaptive uh, designs are the main areas that we can help our customers to address when they need to think on edge data center solutions and network edge telco infrastructure challenges. That's the value proposition that we have and we're ready to help and support anytime. Great stuff, Andres. Thanks so much for the context on cloud services, applications, and of course, management. Appreciate you talking to Light Reading today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Terry. We've been talking with Andres Vasquez of Schneider Electric. This has been Terry Sweeney for Light Reading. Thanks for joining us for this series of conversations with leaders in cloud. We'll see you next time.